Hi, and welcome to the SBN and MSTAR CEH version 8 overview. Really what we'd like to do in the next 10 minutes is take you for a whirlwind tour of SBN and MSTAR's unique certified ethical hacking version 8 offering. We want to really describe what's different about our product and what you'll get from coming on one of our certified ethical hacking courses. What we're really trying to do is to see if your organization is prepared to defend itself against the hack. My name is Sean Hanna. I'm the course instructor for SBN Certified Ethical Hacking Programs uh, in Dublin. Uh, more about me later. I'll be presenting uh, both this session and the courses that are coming up. And really what I want to do is give you a feel of what we're going to do during the day. You see, Certified Ethical Hacking course is maybe not what you think it is. It's not all about learning how to hack. What the Certified Ethical Hacking course is about is trying to turn the light on in your head. It's trying to light that light bulb to say, look at the risk that your network's exposed to. And only by looking and understanding that risk can you realize what controls protection mechanism you actually need. CEH version 8 is unlike most other certified ethical hacking courses and we know that you've got a choice. Our course is not really about learning how to hack. I don't believe learning how to hack delivers real value to the business. If you're a penetration tester, fair enough. But if you're working in IT or information security, then learning how to hack, I don't see the value of it. The value is not being able to hack. It's about understanding how hacking works. Only by understanding what the threats against your business actually are, can you go about deploying correct countermeasures. Our course tries to dissect what the hacker actually does. It's not simply putting you in front of a computer, pressing some buttons, and giving you a slap on the back when you've hacked a computer. We don't want to do that. We want to carefully take the hack apart into its individual parts. We want you to learn about how your business is targeted, how vulnerabilities on your systems are exploited. We want you to understand and discover the types of payloads that we can upload to your computers to give us remote control to be able to own your system. We also want to learn how the hackers hide. So if you do get compromised, how you can go about unmasking and decloaking what the hacker has actually done to your system. It's so much more than simply learning to hack. You do learn to hack, but it's almost an accidental coincidence. Because if you learn all these things, you're really learning how to hack. You see, what we try to do in the Certified Ethical Hacking course is look at the architecture of a hack. We try to split it up into its constituent components so you're not able just to run a tool and click a few buttons. We really want you to understand what impact each one of these will have in your live environment. Vulnerabilities, exploits, payloads and frameworks, this is the way that our unique version of the Certified Ethical Hacking course is actually run. Vulnerabilities, we introduce you to the vast variety of vulnerabilities on your system, from buffer overflow to the current code, to process mistakes inside the HR department. All of those are vulnerabilities, and the way that a hacker goes about it is research. What we do is we do our research on the internet, we do our research using vulnerability scanning tools, but we must also understand how the hackers do their research as well. For example, one of the things we look at is the NSO8067. This is a vulnerability that occurs in the Microsoft NetBIOS service. We'll go into the NetBIOS service in detail on port 139 and port 445 and discover how it works and try to work out what vulnerabilities exist in. Vulnerabilities by themselves do not directly give rise to risk, but they're the root cause of the risk. Instead, 
what gives rise to your risk are the exploits. And we spend a lot of time looking on the course of exploits. And exploits come directly from the vulnerabilities on your system, the vulnerabilities that you have. The exploits that we look at, well, there's a vast range, far too many to talk about in the 10 minutes that we have today. But what we're looking at is virtually every single category and generic technique used to exploit your system. The exploits we look at as the delivery mechanism. These things deliver the bad payloads onto your network, onto your system. For example, that MSO8067 will be running that during the course and taking it apart. It's a path cantabilization code of the Net API 32 DLL. It's capable of bypassing hardware depth buffer overflow prevention. So the vulnerability that we look at directly leads to an exploit. The exploit allows us to deliver some dangerous packages onto your system. And of course, that's the next step. It's not the buffer overflow or SQL injection that really causes the damage. It's the payload. And we've got a large range of payloads that we spend looking on the course. We cover shells, we cover reverse shells, VNC, password collective, visas, bombs. There are so many of these. MetaPerter is one of the big multi-combined payloads that we'll look at during the course. These are the actual dangerous weapons. The vulnerabilities allow exploits to be run. The exploits deliver the payloads. The payloads do the damage. This is what our certified ethical hacking course is all about. It's not about ticking boxes in a hacking tool. It's about actually dissecting what is done by the hacker and really trying to understand each of the stages, each of the phases, and what it does. What's dangerous? A buffer overflow on your computer or the fact that I uploaded a payload that turns your computer into a botnet. One of the botnets that we use, a, a piece of Russian mafia crimeware circa 2011, we use the Shark botnet. It's our command and control system. We will deploy a botnet system during the course and you'll get to find out what sort of impact a botnet would have in your system. And of course, by understanding that, you're learning how to recognize these threats on your network. And if you can recognize these threats on your network, you can actually do something about it. How can you put protective controls in place if you don't understand what those controls are actually supposed to be defending you against? We also take a look at frameworks which really build the attack for us. We sort of take the medium route. We don't take the script kitty route. We don't take the assembly level route. We take the scripting route in the middle. And we look at many frameworks. Frameworks are the engines of hacking. They write the attack for you. They launch the attack. They turn your weapon into a weapon system. And that's really the way that we approach the frameworks. Of course, the big framework we look at is Metasploit, and we go through that some level of detail. We're running Metasploit currently on a backtrack or a 5 or 3, and we're also running Kylie at the same time. So again, we do get to use some pretty serious heavy-duty frameworks. These are the components of the hack. This is how we try to approach it. We try to break it down, dissect it into these individual pieces. We want you to understand the hack, and to understand the hack, you've got to reverse engineer it into its constituent components. Of course, we do have lots of fun on the Certified Ethical Hacking course. There's lots of theory, but there's also uh, lots of hands-on, and we do get to run various different exploits against a wide variety of different platforms. That's really our goal vulnerabilities, exploits, and hacks during the course. Just a little bit of the sales pitch on this. The Certified Ethical Hacking Course V8 is the new release. It was released in just April of this year. Okay, uh, I'm one of the few uh, trainers uh, accredited to deliver the Certified Ethical Hacking Course version 8. Uh, my name is Sean Hanna. Uh, I'm a GRC and Cyber Warfare Consultant. I've been working in the field of security for 11 years. I have over 18 years experience in 
information technology. Uh, my previous background, I'm an active directory and exchange architect. Uh, I left BT Systems as their uh, lead security consultant back in 2009, and I currently run my own information security business. I would get very offended if you call me a trainer. I am not a trainer. I am a consultant who happens to train. I think there's a big difference. Okay, I do this for my living. I work with some of the biggest organizations on governance, risk, and compliance, and I work with a lot of uh, agencies with cyber warfare development. And I've been involved in uh, weapons development and deployment. I've been involved in training in GRC and GRC. I use the COVID, ITAF, and TOGAF products, uh, frameworks. And I consult into the likes of New York Stock Exchange. I've worked with an Intel. Uh, British intelligence, I've worked inside NATO and the EU, okay, uh, some of those big ones. I love delivering these courses because on every one of these courses, no matter how many years experience you have, even I get to learn something and to interact. And it's a really good way of uh, keeping your skills up. The CEH isn't just by itself. The CEH is part of the sort of pyramid of security training courses. And these are the technical courses. It leads to the prestigious LPT. The LPT is the license, the penetration test, your license penetration tester. If you want the pen test for the American government, you must hold your LPT. LPT is one of the most comprehensive programs, and that's not just us saying that. The American DOD 8570 accreditation and the CNSS of the NSA standards attain to that. So we are both uh, certified and accredited to American government standards. This is the uh, American government choice uh, in the FBI, the CIA, the US uh, DOD, and many, many Fortune 500 companies. It's one of the very, very few, very proud of this, it's one of the very few products that is DOD uh, 8570 accredited. The goal is really to help you defend your network. And to do that, it's about understanding understanding and understanding. Understanding how better to defend, how better to countermeasure, how to better test your countermeasures and control. That's really what you need to get out of a certified ethical hacking course. The course itself is split into two parts. We do the theory and hands-on labs during the day, and there's an exam associated with the event as well. We do not run an exam passing exercise. If you want an exam workshop, go somewhere else. Because what we're going to do is concentrate on the real life, the hands-on experience. And then what we try to do is to wrap round up everything that you need to pass the exam. It's a hard day. 80% theory and demo, 20% hands-on. But in the evening time, you have to keep working. Because we want to keep the classroom a real practical hands-on course, then we really need you to set some time aside to do the study in the evening. We provide you a comprehensive exam study kit. We do one hour's exam study each and every day, but we limit it. We deliberately limit the amount of exam revision we do so that it doesn't impact the quality of the hands-on course that we deliver during the day. And let's not get it wrong. The exam on the Friday is difficult. My personal first time pass rate from people doing this unique version of the course, and I can't emphasize how much, this is not your standard CEH, this is my unique version of the CEH that we run with ESPY. First time pass rate, I'm hitting 95% first time pass rate. Okay, there is a prerequisite requirement, you do need really strong TCP IP right down to hex. You do need strong sniffing skills and good security administration skills, but you don't need any hacking experience. If you come with a really strong TCP IP down to the field header packet and hex and the really strong wireless, uh, the really strong uh, uh, wire shark skills, sniffing skills, then you've got a 95% chance of a first time pass. We don't promise you a first time pass because we just can't do that. You can't promise people to pass unless you cheat, and we don't cheat, we do it the proper way. Oh, it's not all about the exam, it's all about understanding. The Certified Ethical Hacking Program, I really do get enthused and love delivering it, and I really would like to see you on our next Certified Ethical Hacking course in Dublin. My name has been Sean Hannah.
If you have any comments or questions and feedback, we'd love to hear back from you. Uh, get in contact with Espion. Uh, you can take uh, a talk to, to Mark or Christian, uh, or you can get in contact with myself directly. That's the little session. Love to see you on my next CEH course. Goodbye.